Here's an interesting question. After spending nine tenths of his money, a man had three hundred dollars left. How much had he at first? Now, because we're trying to find how much he had at first, and we don't know what it is, I'm going to call it x. So, what I'm going to do next is to subtract this fraction nine over ten from one. So I'm going to write one subtract nine over ten. And one subtract this is definitely going to give you one over ten. And one over ten is the same thing in decimal as zero point one. So to work at how much it had at first, I'm going to multiply this value by x. So I'm going to write zero point one. Okay, times x. Okay, uh, times x is equals to the the money had left, which is three hundred. Now, if I try to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by zero point one. So zero point one x here divided by zero point one. Also divide here also by zero point one. So three hundred divided by zero point one. Remember what I do on the left, I do also on the right. So zero point one will cancel out this, leaving at x. So three hundred divided by zero point one. I'm going to have three thousand dollars. So this actually represents the amount of money he had at left, at first rather. Okay. So we go to the second question. Now this is a rather very straightforward, very straightforward question. Now the question is: If I spend three fifth of one hundred and five dollars, how much is left? The first thing I need to do is to find three fifth of this value. And if I find three fifth of um, the word of um, one hundred and seventy five dollars, pretty. Um, I can say that five can go here one and five into one hundred seventy five. That's going to give me thirty five. So I'm going to multiply thirty five by three, and I'm going to have one hundred and five dollars. So to find how much that is left, I'm going to subtract this value from the original amount that I had. So amount money left. Okay, it's gonna be a hundred and seventy-five dollars subtract a hundred and five dollars, and if I do the subtraction, I'm gonna have seventy dollars. So this represents the amount of money that is left after I have spent this. I hope you enjoyed this video.